Hello and welcome to another Nature Discovery Screencast. What did I manage to find and successfully photograph or videotape on this photo walk? This is your chance to look over my shoulder and help me find the gems in this video. What you're watching is Final Cut Pro. It's a software program that allows you to edit video. And we're going to look at the process of finding the gems in raw video from a photo walk. First thing we're going to do is look at our screen a little bit. You see a video playing here. You see a list of clips. And you see the list of uh, videos on uh, the computer and active right now. I'm going to hide this to give us a little more room for the clips. I'm going to take the clips and uh, make them a little bit bigger so we can kind of scrub through them to see what's in them. And we're going to go up here and we're going to select our first clip. And we're going to look through it and identify the portions of the video that may be appropriate to use in a published video someday, either as a little film clip in a video full of clips or as an individual 30 second nature observation. And we're going to look through the video and we're going to select the favorites or the portions of the video that could be used in, in a production. You can see that I have the ability here to do what's called scrubbing where I can scrub through a video clip and look for my favorite portions of the clip. Let's start right at the beginning here and take a look at what we've got. Um, this whole photo walk was what I call an urban woods setting. You'll be able to hear occasionally in the video cars driving by. Quarter of a block away there's a busy highway. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got. We want to identify video that is uh, potentially appropriate to use in a, in a clip sometime in a produ production video. And you can see things like that is <laughs> what we get all the time when we're trying to shoot video. We're trying to move a tripod with a camera on it. We're trying to point the camera at the wildlife. The wildlife is moving. This is not a professional photography photo shoot where the subject uh, sits on a stool and does everything you tell them to do so that you can get the best photo of them possible. This is nature. Nature's always moving. So as a nature photographer, we film a lot throw away a lot and actually use very little of the uh, photography we we get in the can you might say. So let's look at uh, what we can use here out of these uh, video clips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select them and mark them as favorites all the portion of the video clips that could potentially be used. So let's look at what we've got here. We've got this first clip we're going to kind of scrub through and select. And there he's running off the screen. You want him running off the screen. We're going to select that. We're going to mark it. And as I mark it, it uh, puts a green bar up at the top of the video clip. That portion of this video clip then is now a favorite. The idea is that we can go and look at just the favorites in the future and just see 
the best video, the, the video that is potentially usable in clips or in its own little uh, video observation. So that's the whole purpose here is to narrow it down so we can see uh, what we're dealing with here. And let's go here and we've, we've got, oh, he's doing some interesting little stuff with his face here. This action that I'm doing is called uh, skimming. I can also set it and use the keypad and the J, K, and L keys to start and stop the video. So I can stop it. I can go backwards with the J key. So I can uh, I can really pick out what I'm interested in uh, using several different methods for maneuvering through. This method here is uh, where I'm using the arrow keys and I'm literally looking at one frame of video at a time. And uh, this is what you call super slow motion. And I find that Sometimes it's the easiest way for me to pick the in and out spots of a video clip that I might want to use someday. As you can see, we're moving the camera around. We're letting the camera focus. We're going to create an in spot here, and we're going to look for an out spot. So we're going to... He's such an interesting thing that he's doing there. Not super happy with the focus here. And... Uh, but what he's doing seems to me to be interesting. So we're going to preserve this as a favorite. And the camera is moving here. So we're going to kind of go back and moving and out of focus. So we're going to mark that. So we've got two clips now. So when we go up and look at our, our favorites now, we can see that uh, we're only looking at the... the uh, the clips we're, we're interested in. Let's go back and see if we can find some more uh, gems in our video here. So we're moving quite a bit. These uh, cameras getting set. Let's look here. We've got a little segment here where he's just kind of sitting there pretty and then he runs off. So let's say that that's going to be an out point. And let's look for an in point. Right there he's kind of right there. We're going to do that as an in point. Mark it as a favorite. And uh, not on screen. Is he doing here? Let's look at that a little closer. He's got really long whiskers. Is he rubbing his whispers, whiskers on the branch? Mm. Hmm. Is he smelling the branch? I don't know. Now well, let's mark that up as a something to we'll look at there. In and work it as a favorite. All right, so now when we go back and look at that, uh, we've got all our favorite little pieces of video. We've narrowed down what was minutes worth of video into a few seconds worth of clips now. And that's the process of uh, uh, looking through the raw video. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got uh, camera being set up and the, the squirrel moving a little bit. He's doing something interesting with his leg. Alright, let's uh, take what we could possibly use out of this. Alright, camera set. Make that an in. And we'll look for an out here. Yep, there we 
goes. So we'll look for an out spot right there. Go back. Out. All right. Make that a favorite. Let's take a look at here what we're doing. Oh, he's sitting. Sit pretty, might say. Do more witching. Okay, let's hope. No. More in frame and more in focus. Let's just do to the point where he runs off here. Let's make that a favorite. Okay, we're making our way through here. Sitting around, camera's moving. Let's see, move up so we can maneuver the pointer. What's he going to do? He's going to run away. Yep, he's going to run away. So that shot, uh, let's get right after we get the camera in place. That's fine where he runs off. And let's make that a favorite. Okay, next video clip. We've got him lined up. We've got the camera pointed. We've got the camera focused. Let's in. And let's find an out spot for this video clip. Oh, he's switching his legs. Interesting. Nature observation is what we're all about. So, okay, so let's make that the out spot right there. Make that a favorite. And we're kind of off, almost off camera, slightly out of focus. His face is not super in focus. All right, now well, we got a video clip here of a rock. Many times when uh, we move the tripod, point the camera, get the camera focused, start recording, the subject has disappeared. So we're just going to basically uh, Move that one right to the trash. We don't need to keep that one at all. And, uh, all right, squirrel's gone, birds appear, and we have here a female downy woodpecker. And female downy woodpecker is in the branches in the tree. <laughs> Always something in front of her. Not very good. Not very. Lighting's poor. Let's uh, eliminate that one completely. Uh, here we've got the same gal <laughs> behind a branch. But then it flies off. Let's look at that. 60 frames per second recording and each one of these frames is an individual high resolution picture and I'm looking at one frame one frame one frame one frame and from here we can kind of pick out a little segment that we could potentially use so there we've got the head missing but there we've got in frame Let's move to the spot where he's gone. He's gone. Make that an out. Make that a favorite. All right. What else do we have in this video clip? Not too much. There's a little bit of something here. Something there. Hmm. It sort of starts there. What do we got here? Moving the camera, trying to find the bird. The bird is moving. And it's focusing. All right, we got an out point there. 
Let's make that a favorite. Let's see what else we've got here. Do we have anything in here? Camera's moving big time. And it's finally set. Click in front of bird. Let's kind of go on here and see what else we've got. Ooh. What bird doing? Interesting thing there. Let's find it in spot. Out of focus, out of focus. Camera set. Let's do in. Let's find the out. There's the out. And uh, one more clip to go here. We have our female downy woodpecker sitting on a branch behind other branches. We can't really see her too good, can we? All right. So we're going to move that one to the trash. We're going to set our clip viewer to just the favorites. Now we have our favorites. And we're going to start playing them. Thank you for attending this uh, discovery session with me. We'll be doing a lot more of these. So watch for more videos in the future.